From school Halloween parties to trick-or-treating, the sugar rush is on. And Sarah Gustin has more on which treats you should treat yourself to and how long it can take before those sweet side effects can wear off. Trick-or-treat, everybody! From school parties to nighttime trick-or-treating, Halloween could be the sugariest holiday of all. Trick-or-treat! Licensed registered dietitian Joan Nagel at St. Alexis says kids should only have four to six teaspoons of sugar a day. It would be like about a nerd's box. Trick-or-treat! While trick-or-treating can go long into the night, plan on cutting the snacking early. Nagel says it takes four to six hours for food to digest. She says even setting a candy cutoff two hours before bed will help and try to limit your child to five pieces. There's a lot of sugar, like you said, and a lot of artificial colorings and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And it can affect their teeth. It can make them really hyper. Um, they might not be able to go to sleep tonight, so they might even get a stomach ache. Despite there being more sugar cubes on this side versus this side, Nagel says that choosing off the chocolate side is still your better bet because you might find a hidden piece of nutrition within one of those snack size pouches. Sometimes there might be nuts in it or extra protein um, or peanut butter will have a little bit of protein or dark chocolate has some antioxidants, so I'd say do the chocolate. The question had to be asked. What's the worst and best choice on each of these two sugar-filled boards? I think the one that's jumping out at me is the Nerds box. It just has, like, one little box is three teaspoons of sugar, so that's pretty loaded um, as far as that. And for the chocolates, I'd probably have to say the Twix, because that had quite a bit of the saturated fats. As for the best choice? Best choice is probably not many on here, um, but doing, like, sugar-free candy. You could do, like, gum. You could do little pretzel bags. The popcorn bags are pretty popular, um, trail mix. Nagel says sugary, fruity flavors in any candy that lingers in your mouth, such as hard candies and suckers, typically have more sugar. In Bismarck for KX News, I'm Sarah Gustin. And then you're supposed to think twice before you steal your kids' candy because Nagel says the recommended sugar amount for adults is only six to eight teaspoons a day. She says a two-piece limit is best, but admits even one night of indulgence won't do too much damage. And that's a good thing because I've already hit the limit. You've hit the limit today oh, already. Yeah, so okay. have you, right? No? <laughs> I'm not telling. Coming up next Goody. in sports.